turn up to this one to change the single channel programmer on an S-Plan system. The previous engineer diagnosed that the programmer was at fault. So I've been sent back to change that. Brought the breakdown Bible with me to have a look through and check the wiring. First thing I do is turn the switch through spear off, pop the old programmer off, have a look at the wiring diagram, which is non-existent. We can see he's linked over the blue, which was to give permanent hot water. The new programmer won't fit the old back plate. So just quickly switch it over, put the new back plate on and wire it back up as it was. That one's wired up, we've got permanent live neutral earth, then we link live over to one and then it goes back on four, which goes to the 10 way. Design my own easy to read wiring diagrams. Hopefully it helps. Laminated the pages as well, just in case they get a bit wet, that'll be fine. So we'll pop that up and we'll do some testing over the 10 way and see how easy it actually is to read. So with the new programmer on, with hot water on, we check to make sure that we're getting 240 to the 10 way from the programmer, which then goes down to the cylinder stat. Let's check to make sure we're getting 240 going into the cylinder stat. We are. So on the wiring diagram, you can see what I've just tested from the programmer to the cylinder stat. Then it's got to make the switch over before it will return. So now we've got on 240 return. On the unvented cylinders, you've got a high limit stat. So if you were getting 240 going in but not coming out, just check the high limit stat and reset it. It's a manual reset. So now we're checking the brown which goes from the cylinder stat to the S-plan valve and then it's got to make the micro switch go back on the orange and that'll fire the boiler. Just go through the cylinder stat a little bit more in depth again. So we've got 240 going in, 240 coming out. If we turn the demand off by turning the cylinder stat down, that breaks the connection which stops the 240 going through up to the zone valve which manually shuts the zone valve. And then that works with a high limit stat as well. It's a safety. So I'm designing my own wiring diagrams um, and fault finding procedures. If you want one, follow me on Instagram, drop me a message, drop me a message on YouTube and they'll be for sale as soon as they're finished.